but no, Deus Ex Machina's can be fun if it's like done in a really like rad way. But normal Deus Ex Machina's are like, what? This is. Thanks. What movies are like that? Hmm? Where the Deus Ex Machina just kind of ruins the movie, or the book, or the TV show? Because like. A Deus Ex Machina that I liked was Gandalf saving Frodo. Uh on the like with the Eagles. Because mm -hmm. that was straight up like, yeah, you knew the Eagles were around, and yeah, it's How a little about the light speed jump of Admiral Holdo into the supremacy? On one hand, that is probably one of the coolest scenes I've ever seen in a movie. It breaks Star Wars. Though. On the other hand, like, why didn't people do that? Why don't people weaponize that? Just strap a hyperdrive. Onto a freaking, um... Well, even a small transport craft... Yeah. ...manned by an, uh, a droid would be able Why to... Why didn't Holdo just say, like, Hey, smaller ship, uh, we're both gonna die. Turn around and just hyperdrive blast them. Like, your your sacrifice will not be in vain, as opposed to just letting them die. And it's like, that would, that would work. Uh, kinetic kill vehicles is such a rad idea, but, like... That's not an idea that should have been unique, unique to Holdo in the slightest. Uh, you know, some random general shouldn't be able to, like, turn around and hyper hyperdrive into them. So that, that feels like something that should have been, like, done and then outlawed heavily because extreme war crimes, you know, you don't want people to go down that road. And that, you know, maybe it's just like, you don't, don't, don't do this. Like, the Empire is going to start doing it back. I mean, they were have Han, they did have Han Solo do the whole, like, crazy... I'm going to hyperdrive into their shields. When? Um. Well, beneath the shields. Hmm. You remember in The Force Awakens? Mm -hmm. I just don't like the new movies. In any case, before I go on long tangents about that, because I'm a huge Star Wars nerd. Look at all and these. Look, look at, all at all these the fish. <laughs> this is great. Oh, go recruit. I mean, I could sort of understand Han doing it though, because he was an ace pilot beforehand. Yeah. You know, it almost would have made sense if they had to like sacrifice R two D two. No, I, I I know not R two. I I know never, you're not down with the idea, but it's R2. just like I it, would have almost rather they just never made BB eight and only had R two. Yeah, I don't really. I they needed a new toy to sell. <laughs> That's always what it is. It's why you always have that new mascot character or something like that. No. Or why the Transformers always change design with every movie. Star Wars Christmas special worked kinda. Oh. Oh. Oh, I feel like throwing up just hearing <laughs> that. Oh, right, we we're supposed to expand the walls on the right side. Yeah, we never did, but it's it's getting close to nightfall. We should yeah. wait. We Next got distracted time. talking about movies. It's fine. Man, what other movies had particularly lame Deus Ex Machinus? They're most of the ones that I can think of of off the top of my head are monster movies. The monster has some kind of weird weakness. Yeah. So... I was pretty cool with the AVP movie where she just literally straps alien parts to herself and then, like, goes off to fight the alien queen. Like, that wasn't a great movie. Wait, what? Remember? It was... It was AVP. Uh, where she, like, arms herself. Well, no, 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 no. That was the predator arming her with with alien parts. I, I mean, close enough. But, like, that was rad. That was, like, obviously a little bit unbelievable because the alien queen was, like, mighty compared to the human. Um, but it was just like, yeah, that's fine. I mean, sure, it's a little unbelievable They really that should she have did followed the, the novels and the comics, though. Oh, you know what? The Resident Evil movies. They're awful for oh. Deus Ex Machinus. But part of that is because they're led by a Mary Sue in Yeah, oh, God. She is... I think that is the one of the most egregious Mary Sues I have ever seen in media. Well, it's because they wanted a character that could be the star of the franchise that could interact with all of the old heroes. But on a movie-by-movie -movie basis. And also sort of have her in that weird kind of Wesker situation where she was part 
Except for then they take Zombie it away virus. to make her weaker and like. Yeah. See, I feel like that movie should have that that movie series should have just been the slow descent into Terminatordom. Mm -hmm. Uh, where like straight up the fight. Don't even get me into time travel. The, I'm not gonna get into that topic. Uh, topic. I've actually had a whole series time spinner to talk about time travel. Mm -hmm. That I always hate is a Deus Ex, where you yeah. just time travel it into non-existence. I, I'm fine with that if that's kind of the premise of the entire movie. That, like, I I feel like any movie with time travel sh where they're abusing it to begin with, they should abuse go? it constantly. Uh, we could have started building. Or I yeah, could have started Yeah, building. you want to start building it? Sure. I'm going to keep working on recruiting. Because we need... I mean, Operation Fishmonger must continue. <laughs> <laughs> The amount of spearmen we have here. Oh, is this one right? Is honestly concerning. Yeah, that's that's the one we want. Like, look at all of them. They're everywhere. It's great. Who needs farms when you've got this? I'm actually serious. This might be a better income situation than farms, or even hunting. I love this. Okay, they're both working on that. Yeah, and the tower can wait until that wall is done. Mm -hmm. We'll also want a catapult, but get that after. Yep. That'll be good. Let's see. I'm trying to think of other movies or games where deus exes are just like the worst. I mean, Mass Effect has a number. Uh, Mass Effect is just goofy more than a Deus Ex. <laughs> like, I don't think I ever remember uh, I know playing... that they're probably... Mass Effect's ending was garbage and was kind of Deus Ex-y, but that's just because they couldn't figure out how to finish it off. There was no point where it's like Shepard's about to lose, but then suddenly, uh, you know, the, the good... The good reaper comes out of nowhere to save them. It's like, what? Where'd you come from? It's like, I'm the reaper that believes in humanity. It's like, what? There are probably ones every other episode or every episode of Star Trek now yeah. that I think about it. Uh, it's part of the reason why I don't like Star Trek. I love Star Trek, It's though, too but... flighty and not, like, I'm not a big fan of hard sci-fi, but I need, like, something. Oh, wait, no. Give me that. I need something to latch onto. Oh no. Come on guys, build faster. There we go. And okay. with Star Trek specifically, I really just don't feel like I can latch onto anything. It's just like And then science magic, science magic, science magic. I uh what was the movie? Uh with hmm? Tim Allen and Oh, Galaxy Quest. Galaxy Quest. Yeah. That was like the best parody I've ever seen. I, I like that as a parody. I actually haven't seen the whole movie. I had a really bad migraine when my parents were watching it, and I've just never got the chance to uh to watch it again. It's a fun movie. I, I believe they had Alan Rickman and Sigourney Weaver and a number of other actors there, too. I, I just like the fact that they were kind of the washed-out actors yeah. of a very similar Star yeah. Trek-like series, and they were relegated to doing ad placements and comic book conventions, and they didn't realize the value of their own series. Except for, I think, Tim Allen's character relished it. But the other actors were... I think Alan Rickman's character was cast as someone who like it became what he was known for and he was tired of doing the whole Vulcan salutes or hands well that's that's exactly what happened to Leonard yeah Nimoy. kind of because yeah. Leonard Nimoy was in other stuff too he wanted to do music and whatnot but no one could ever like look Get past... past his role as Spock yeah yeah I should rewatch it. We should. I, I love. I loved it, and it was. I just found it hilarious because the aliens came to the planet and they're like, "Yes, you are these heroes that we have seen all the historical records of," and they're like, "What historical records? No, wait. You mean they were just catching the broadcasts of the television show yep. and the reruns, so they thought they really were 
intergalactic heroes. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy, author of I Am Not Spock, followed by I Am Spock. Yeah, if I remember right, Nimoy straight up resented the role for quite a while. I watched a documentary uh, about him, and it was it was pretty enlightening. It, it, essentially, he was just wanting to provide for his family, and so this opportunity arises, and he's like, I don't know about it. But then it becomes, you know, cult classic, and... There are a couple others like that, like, um... Well, unfortunately, if you ever watch anything about George Reeves, the original Superman, oh, that's such a sad story, because he perpetually got typecast and... Yeah. Couldn't... I, I mean, he... Yeah, that was I, I saw some of the other movies he was in. The problem is just, like, I think he... I think he came into the wrong era. Well, that was the 40s. Yeah, and so the problem was there wasn't a whole lot of, like, fantasy or sci-fi or anything that he could, like, latch onto. And at the time, he, people he were more... He was in a number of maybe war movies or but the detective pro... stories as it's, well. It's true, but he was too bulky of a man to really fit. You know, he might have done well in the sci-fi era as a number of things, you know, 20, 30 years later. Uh, but as it stood, he was too known for Superman to fit in in anything else. And then the the media media was looking for, you know, much more of the suave, you know... Oh, shoot, what's his face? The actor from um, the Maltese Falcon. Oh, did you, did you like Humphrey Bogart Yeah, Humphrey stuff? Bogart. Well, yeah. that's what people were looking for in actors uh, at the time. And so... Uh, George Reeves, was it? Yeah. George Reeves was the the original Superman. Then there was Christopher Reeves in the 70s. Yeah. It's odd they had the boat they both had the same last name and he unfortunately fell off a horse. Yeah, and broke his spine. That was maybe that was in the late 80s or early 90s? Yeah. Let's see. Babylon 5 did well tech-wise. I liked Babylon I really 5 liked for the it. first two seasons? I think we got a little bit too embroiled in politics. Well, it, it got it I got really I didn't mind. I didn't like the... By politics, I don't mean any kind of politics that resemble our own. It was just a bunch of people standing around talking about things. And, it, and it, I, it, I love conversation like that, but... Well, it got flighty again because, you know, they, they kept raising the stakes. But in an unconvincing way. Half the characters also started to become unlikable. Yeah. Which was odd. Whoa, these are stronger creatures. Bunches of them, too. I think my favorite character in that was probably the reptile dude. I forgot his name. I... I think I just liked it better when um, the the commander character... Oh, right. Part the, of it is they had to switch out who the, the main character was. Oh, well, the mercantile people started to have a lot of upheaval on their planet. And then that one female character, they I suppose they didn't like the fact that they had to do her makeup every single time. So they made a, an alteration to her design where she became part human and had the hair. Yeah. I like that wasn't necessarily a bad idea. Now, oh, so now that we've built past this, what we should do is we should start... Uh, teching up so we can go on a crusade. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been expanding the walls out here and building up some towers. Sorry if a I've double... stopped and gotten distracted by reminiscing about things. That's I fine. I should go back. So yeah, if you want to start crusading out this direction, this would be a good time for it. Okay. Uh, if you've got some money, buy some more spears. Oh, okay. But the spearmen can't come with us. No, but we we should have plenty of crusaders. Well, I want to be able to provide them with money. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, is this being built? Wonder? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm I expanded the walls out a little bit and then teched it up. Oh, but it's midday. Yeah, We're so I I would wait to send your crusade out. Okay, after the night is done. Might as well just absorb money anyway. Um, but yeah, 
as far as like Babylon 5 goes, and like a number of other ones, uh, same thing with uh, Stargate SG-1. Oh, Stargate. I, we never did finish that. We watched a substantial part of the, the first few seasons. The problem is it's... it's, And of course I had seen the movie. It's Jumping the Shark, I think, is, is actually a, such a huge thing for me. Um, and I also saw the animated series Stargate Infinity. <laughs> yeah, never bothered. I loved Stargate, but it always felt like it needed to be focused. Three conflicts and then it was done. You know, Gwauld, maybe like some kind of extra dimensional horror, maybe. Uh, and then maybe one or two other things. Ten seasons for anything is, is too much. Like, how many series have we watched where the... Where the show really could last, you know, hundreds of episodes. Well, and still feel fresh and interesting I mean, every episode. Star Trek did. But it, as for fresh and interesting every single time, they they were built on being episodic. Yeah. So. And see, for me, I, I prefer... You prefer overarching stories. I prefer an overarching story. Like, I would much rather have a TV show that lasts for three seasons with a direct beginning, middle, and an end. And a really and nice conclusion, because unfortunately there are some where... Because the there's so many just... TV shows that get canceled nowadays. It's it. I actually don't want to watch shows if they don't have like a direct conclusion. Yeah, because I think the issue is, I understand that they want to go on with it as long as possible, and I wouldn't mind if, say, they choose the same universe but a different time period or something else. But what they do is they try to go on for years and years and years with the same cast and things start to get a little old and it's really tiring when the villain you thought you've killed twice over has returned yeah and like that works with power rangers just because like it's not meant to be serious or even good to some degree but i can't stand it when it's like I can't stand it when it's like... Alright, ready to go? Uh, yeah, if you want to send you guys out. I'll just start getting some archers. Is it two groups? Do I send out a third, or...? Yeah, go for it. They're way more likely to succeed. And we've got infinite money. See, that's one thing Babylon 5 had going for it. It was all written beforehand. Yeah. Oh. What was I reading? Oh, maybe it wasn't. Oh, I ran out of money. That's, That's not fine. good. Oh, this is it. Yeah. That was close. Yeah, and if you can take out that portal, it's a double recruitment group. Should work really well. But, like, with Stargate SG-1, you could definitely tell that, like, they were running out of ideas. They kept adding, like, new conflicts and stuff. Uh, and, like, new characters. I really liked Farscape. Farscape was good. I just couldn't handle the fact that no one liked each other in it. Yeah, the, they were a bunch of rogues. And when you have a full ensemble of rogues, it makes it difficult for... I think a full ensemble of rogues can work, but they have to like each other. Otherwise, you just end up with a full ensemble of rogues that, that are, are always constantly, snarking. That are constantly snarking and like backstabbing each other and not working together. Mm -hmm. Like to go back to the horror horror tropes that we hate. Mm -hmm. uh, one of mine is when you have the person that betrays everyone else, or nobody's working together, even though you absolutely need to. Mm -hmm. You know that. That for whatever reason, people are all like, my personal gain is more important than our collective survival. And it's like, I mean, I like, I feel like if I was put in the, um, if I was put in the, the, like, maybe not a Lord of the Fly situation, but a situation where it's like, yeah, our survival is predicated on, uh, oh, the prices are just getting higher for the defensive structures. That's what's going on. Um, our survival is dedicated, or er, is entirely dependent on us all working together. If somebody starts, like, acting out and is, like, being a, uh, a dick, and, you know, not working together, not doing their job or whatever, I'd probably be in favor of giving them the boot real quick. Okay, so I only have a scant amount of money. 
And it's we okay. defeated one of them. So the, is the next assault going to be the one that gets all the way to the... No. There's there's, there's another, another portal on the way. There's another portal on the way. Smack talking Farscape. I just... I wanted to like it more than I did. I think entirely just because after a while I couldn't handle Emperor whatever his face. Oh, one of your uh one of your knights actually got killed. Oh no. Do I have to help them or uh What I loved about Farscape was that most of the characters were alien. No, I did like that. I liked how they were alien. They were really unique designs. The whole Jim Henson studio coming in and making pilot and uh what was his name? It starts with an R. Rigel? Yeah. My one frustration with the critique everyone has with evil campaigns in D&D. Everyone seems to think that the PCs will inevitably backstab each other. Yeah, like I was playing an evil character in a campaign once, and evil wasn't backstab or like even ruin anything or even like trying to ruin the campaign. E evil doesn't even have to directly be a... A like a, a character that does bad things they just have to be a bad person as part of it um, like HK 47 could do good things but ultimately he was still a he was bad always guy. in my party going may I kill him well I loved him because he was, he was and I'm fun. Just like nope you may not turn the meat bag into slag and he goes oh and he never... I think he only maybe betrays you in the second game. Maybe. But, you know... Yeah, when it came to characters, there were some that were more dark side aligned, and I actually really liked Candrus. Yeah. But then again, he was sort of the old war hero that you could listen to uh, war stories. Like, he would be able to recount them to you. Yeah. The Mandalorian Wars. And so, like, I'm more... I would love to do an evil campaign where it's just a bunch of, like, particularly, like, merciless, driven people who, you know, very clearly are going to do what it takes to get things done. I mean, I suppose that's what you have with any, like, vampire conflict. Mm -hmm. Like, in Vampire the Masquerade, you're always skirting on evil because the, the very mode of your lifestyle involves... Feeding off of other people mm -hmm. and possibly killing them. Well, I'm not just talking that though. I'm I'm saying like you know executions, for example, like you know the classic like we'll let the uh, the recurring villain survive. Oh yeah, if they just don't. Yeah, they just shoot them. Do you know what they do in modern series to make a hero edgy? They give that opportunity, and they really do just finish off the villain. The villain always does the whole sickly smile where they're like, Oh, but you're the hero. You would never do that I to really me. want to play Fable 2 at some point. Apparently, uh, I was I was reading discussions of or something in regards to Fable 2, and they're like, yeah, so at the end of the game, the main villain's monologuing, and one of the, one of the companion characters just straight up shoots the guy. And I thought that was hilarious. And I would gladly... More spearmen? Are we going to invest in more archers and Uh, and I've knights? been investing in both. I'm just... Because I want to lead another assault, but I barely have... Oh, I do have money. Yeah, I just... Part of the reason why I've been getting more spearmen is because we, we're still having money problems. Let's see. All the Fable games are amazing. I should do a binge of them at some point. I would like to. I was trying to get Shell to do Fable 3 with me as a co-op oh. series, but she was not interested. It was weird. I, I didn't like the fact that, what, you were a prince or a princess and your uncle usurps you, or mm -hmm. what was it? Yeah. I just liked the idea of it because it was a story-based RPG with co-op It was co -op just very brown. But I, yeah. never, I never like it when games are monotone, monocolored. Since I do have an Xbox One, I would not mind doing a full playthrough of every single Fable game. Uh, that would definitely be... So, once we're done with this, like, period of games just coming out relentlessly, I would like to go back to that. That's kind of what I was intending to do with, um... I almost wouldn't mind... I know that you don't like playing Bioware games on your channel. 
but maybe... Uh, I don't know about playing through Dragon Age. Because we played through all the Darksiders games I mean, to prep for 3. I know that Dragon Age 4 is coming out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind playing through the Dragon Age games to some degree. The main problem Didn't is... Didn't you play a bit of Inquisition for your channel? Yeah, I played a little bit of Inquisition, but that was on my old laptop. Like, before I got that computer. Uh-huh. Uh, so it barely ran, and... Should I lead another assault? Yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, is this the night is almost over? Yeah, it's over. Sh should I start? Yeah, start it. But yeah, first one for me to finish would be uh, Dead Space. Because I want to finish Dead Space. Yeah, Dragon Age 3 was not good. Was that Inquisition? I thought Inquisition was actually the best uh, from what I had experienced, just because it was, it was fun. It was a lot of busy work, and they had too much, like too much world, but the gameplay for me was so much more engaging than kind of awkward CRPG. Well, so it's Dragon Age Origins, then it's Dragon Age 2, which is what? Your main character is a person called Hawk? Whereas in the first game, it was someone that you made yourself, right? And then the yeah. third game was Inquisition, and you were just... Well, wh wait, who was no, 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 Hawk no. in? Um, Hawk was two. Hawk Dragon was Age two. Origins is the one where you make whatever. Yeah, right. Dragon Age 2, is you Hawk. kind of have a little bit of customization, but not much. And then what was 3? Inquisition? Uh, and you were the Inquisitor. Yeah, 3 is Inquisi Inquisition, you can make whatever you want. So you, you could, could have actually Kunari. be Kunari, yeah. Yeah, so that I, had, thing. I, I had a Kunari character, and then I was like kind of tempted to have, like, a gay Canari because the Canari companion in that one was the best character, and also gay. And so I was like, <laughs> normally I don't shoot for romance at all in these games, just because it's boring, but like he was the such a cool... Romance he was such a games. charming character. Ah! How am I charming? Or am I, just I mean, cute? you're you're more charming than a, a video game character for sure. But remember, <laughs> I also play my video game characters as people that aren't me. Uh, uh huh. So like the idea of just like, I don't know. I mean, remember those like uh, the the gay trolls in Wonder Song? Yeah. That was charming. I liked them. They were cute. They were cute. Wait, archer dudes, why are you hunting deer while we're in the middle of battle? Uh, those are not part of the military. Those are just random archers that are here to hunt. Well, we have vanquished that portal. Oh, did I never build a catapult out here? Looks like you didn't. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, people are doing the whole Do You Wanna Date My Avatar? I love that song. Do you wanna date my avatar? My one grump with uh, Dragon Age Inquisition is that they had multiplayer, but for whatever reason just didn't have a multiplayer campaign. Because I would have played that game in a heartbeat if I could say, uh, just be one of your companion characters and just play as them. Like, I would love it if you could do co-op through a Bioware game. Yeah, because like, don't give me any decisions, don't let me do anything more than wander the world and help you fight, and I'd be totally happy with that. And then of course, let me watch the dialogue unfold. I still really liked that one bit where, oh, as in a tour? in tour, where our characters took turns answering questions. I, and honestly, leading conversations. of all of the MMOs, I think Tor is actually Tor and uh, Destiny are the two that I'm interested in playing at this point. Every other MMO, I have just lost all interest in. I wouldn't mind playing through Tor because. My main There's a story is, for every single class. My main problem is time. I know, like, time. I, I, I mean... Especially because there's always grind between major story events and... Yeah, because I, I have recorded, you know, some amount of time on... Uh, I, I Wait, should I make the next assault? Yeah, go for it. Uh... I have recorded a episode on 
on this now. I've recorded an episode. Well, I, I've recorded a bunch of episodes for this Ashen. Uh, the, the, my main problem is just like I don't have enough time to get through all of these games that I've got, and so the idea of going back to any MMO is like terrifying for me. Yeah, um, it makes more sense to go back to old series that have a sequel coming out. Yeah. Yeah, sadly, Destiny is very grindy. Yeah, that's kind of my problem. It's also... I don't even like MMOs. The only reason why I play an MMO... The, only, the reason why I love MMOs is because you do have the option to create a unique character, and you do play multiplayer with yeah. your friends. And so, like... If they had campaign experiences in games like that... Well, that's why I was excited for the idea of Ashen multiplayer with you. And even though, like, I've played four hours of it, I would still... Like mildly start over so that we can play Ashen together. Do you know what I would like? I would like a game where you know how there's always the companion character, the the Navi, the Watcher, yeah. the Midna, the... Why can't you make it so that if someone wants to bop in and be that character, they can Generally netcode, but like in Dragon Age Inquisition, they had a multiplayer. So they could have done that, they just didn't want to. Because it probably would have taken more effort. Um... I would just love to zip around and shoot at things and maybe have a special selection of spells that can only, you know, that I could use. Yeah. That's why I'm, like, tentatively ex excited about Anthem. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Anthem's going to be good. In fact, I have... Oh, no, they're already coming. Extreme misgivings that Anthem is going to be bad. Do I even have enough... This Boy. might take another force. You'll get the wave down. That was just the wave. We might have to expand further left for you to have a good good chance at this. Mm-hmm, because we were traveling a little far. Oh, you lost the samurai. That's why, they, that's why the archers are hunting. What? Yeah, so we're going to have to expand further. For shame. Yep. That's okay. More archers, and uh, we'll just expand as far as we can. I mean, truly, we could expand pretty dang far. It, like, if we could encompass the homeless camps, that'd work great. Yeah, the reason why they don't do multiplayer campaign stuff is EA. Yeah. What's wrong with EA in multiplayer? I mean, it's just EA. They're kind of grubby. Oh, is it because they would rather have two people buy two copies of the game? Well, sort of. The weird part is, like, I think the main problem is just co-op campaigns historically have never done that well. You know, like... It might work, but it mostly doesn't. There are so many games, though, where you work in pairs. And the pair the paired person is always an NPC. Multi -co multiplayer co-op takes away from uh, time making microtransaction content. Yeah, that's my main problem with, uh, with EA is that e EA, Activision, Blizzard, uh, 2K, and a couple other studios more or less are kind of turning into that that like so that means we're gonna have to build past this camp yeah well if we can encompass both camps it makes life a lot easier uh there i love game designers i love wait but this is our only other camp that's fine keep going there's here right here there's a wall that we can build right at this spot if we can just clear cut to it Really? Do we have to get all these trees? Because uh, I can't select any of them. Here. Unless I just ran out of coin. No, no, no. So what you have to do is find the edge of a... I'm seeing no edge, edge to this fort. forest. Here we are. But that's all the way at the dock! Yep. Might lose a builder or two for this. Or three. I'm just, I'm just gonna do that. So we'll clear cut back, and we'll just plonk a wall down right there, because we don't have to get too far. 
But yeah, multiplayer does take a fair bit of work to incorporate for a proper story. Yeah, and as, like, network programming, uh, internet, and, like, a bunch of other things get better, uh, it actually will be much, much easier uh, for developers to implement that sort of thing. I mean, uh, this is part of the reason why I was originally really excited for Fallout 76, and still am tentatively excited for when they get the game to not suck and add private servers with mods. Because the idea of playing a, a Fallout-style game cooperatively with other people, it was really fun. The main reason why I haven't got back to it is just because... Uh, people are very much like, Fallout 76 is garbage! And I'm just like, when, when the games industry turns against a game, it's usually the moment where I'm kind of just, just like, okay, uh... Fish. I, I'm just gonna pull away from this game, because I, I don't want to deal with uh, the neg negativity resulting, because a lot of people just, like, pointedly not watch my series. Oh, uh, balls. What? What happened? Oh no, you have all these things following you! Come on, Griffin, eat! No, it's mainly the hammer bros. <laughs> well... It's not my Griffin that's the problem, it's the hammer bros that are gonna get oh. got and lose their hammers. I was hoping they'd make it. Well, we'll go hire some more. No! Run! See, here's the problem. They're all going to lemming straight into... Oh, no! Maybe we should have built, like, right at... Maybe we should make incremental walls. The problem is we can't. Well, there's a wall here, there's no, a wall there. No, we can't. There. You know? Uh, yeah, we could maybe get out to this one. The main problem is we're gonna have to clear cut into a recruitment camp for it. We might just be better off sending uh, a second, just... Another big wave with yeah. a bunch of money. Yeah, after these guys are all uh, down. Be equipped. Why don't you just send out more crusades? You'll get the portal down eventually. So what should I build up for that then? Just more archers? Yeah, more archers. That's the only thing we need. And then uh, if you're really industrious, you can actually... Uh, I'm gonna say salt the earth. You can just drop a massive pile of coins right in front of the portal before your guys reach there, and that'll also keep them away. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. Cause every little reed gremlin. Why doesn't he use the griffin's wings to push back the enemies? I know about it. I mainly just don't want to risk it. I'd rather lose a hammer bro or two than lose myself. I'm not even sure what happens when the co-op character dies. I might just be able to come back, now that I'm thinking uh, about it. who knows. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's like spring or summer, so we've actually got bunnies out here again. Yep, yep. It was spring for a while. I There hasn't been snow on the ground. There's been birds tweeting everywhere. So, I'm going to be building more fortifications further out. Uh, sort of. I was just gonna say, uh, time it just as soon as the... Because if I got rid recruit, of... Recruit more people. Because we just lost a number. There's another camp to the left. I'd mm -hmm. grab that too. Um, but pretty much we're just gonna want to send out successive Should we build groups. one of these? Uh, it's not that useful. Well, can we get from island to island with it? No. No? No, it just teleports you anywhere on the map. So I'd recruit these guys. There's like three or four of them. Because all of the guys we lost in that attack came back here. Mm-hmm. So keep doing it. There's like... There's another one. Yeah. Because again, all of the guys we lose come back here. There's a mound here. We could have gotten this one. But you can't chop down that tree. Oh. Yeah, the problem is you can only... You can't start clear cutting in the middle of the forest. You have to clear cut from the outside. That's the why outside we... outside was the end. Yeah. And so... I think... Let's wait for nightfall. Um... Wait for the way, uh, the nightly wave. You send out the crusades. Uh, there's another dude to recruit. You send out the cr crusade. Recruit him. Chill. He's over on the left. Okay. I didn't see him in the bush. Fun guy. Yep. Pick it up. Let's see, you can craft a new crown for your co-op partner for something like eight coins. Oh. What do you mean by... Oh, I see. That's 
That's fun. Well, that's helpful. Is that only for the companion character, or is that, um... Or is that either player? And when both go down, that's when you game over back to the previous What's island. What's this? You can make a mega tower? Yeah, yeah, you can have a tower with three people on it. It's not really worth it because no. we're not getting hit by anything major. So, we're going to make another crusade? Uh, still, shall, uh, yeah. Wait until the night is over, Night though. is over, yeah. yeah. If you want, you can drop some coins because you're full up. Oh, okay. Okay, stop. Just because we're about to get attacked. Wait, we didn't have a tower out there prepared, or did it get demolished? No, we know we never built a tower out there because this is the left side, uh, dock side, and it's just not. It's not really worth building up defenses unless we're getting hit hard on this end, because mm -hmm. nobody's going to be attacking us from this direction eventually. So either player can craft it for the other. That's good. Because, yeah, I, I'd hate to lose. We spent so much work saving this place. 